A friend of mine often complained to me that his children, although they become adult, you know, they have good job and so on, very rarely visit him. Sometimes he never seen them for a year at a time. And even if they visit him, they said they spend very little time with him. If you have many children and only one or two children do that, then you can blame your children. But if you have 10 children and all of them did not visit you, you know, I think you should not blame the children. Probably there is something you didn't do when they were little. Maybe this person do not spend enough time uh, to take care of the children, to have good relationship with the children when they're young. I call this detached parenting. Detached parenting is when one or both parents uh, were unwilling to uh, take care of the children properly, to take responsibility uh, properly. Uh, of course, when this happened, uh, the parent always have an excuse for that. They said, oh, I'm very busy, I don't have the time. And uh, sometimes they said, oh, when I come home, I'm very tired, that's why I don't have, have, have time uh, to spend time with my children. Of course, this is true, but uh, I also have another friend who told me that uh, when the children was young, he always uh, complained about the fact that the children always bother him when we try to do work, you know. Uh, he was trying to do his work and children come asking them to play badminton with them. Sometimes they ask them to do help them with the homework. He tend to get angry a lot until he realized one thing, you know. He said, before I complain, you know, don't they understand that I'm busy? I'm working for them, you know, to make money for them. Until he asked the right question, he said, why am I busy for? The answer is I'm busy because I want to, uh, to take care of my children. From that day on, they realized that uh, the most important thing in his life is not his work. The most important thing is his children. So he told me that from that day on, he have a different approach. Every time his children ask him to play bat badminton with them, every time they ask him to do his own work, I, he stop work and take care of his children first because that is really the most important thing in his life, his children. When we neglected our children, uh, it have a very serious impact on their life not only when they're young, but th this impact continues throughout their life until they become an adult. When they're young and we tend to neglect our children, uh, they become difficult uh, toddlers, you know. In school, they become difficult students. They have a problem with their teachers. They have a problem with other students. And then when they become uh, preteens, about 10, 12 years old, they become rebellious. They tend to not listen to the parent, not listen to the teacher. Basically, they don't trust adult people because if they cannot trust their own parent, why they should trust other people? But then the problem continues when they become teenagers. Now, when they become teenagers, they have more independence. They tend to not to stay home. They tend to go out with friends a lot, you know. And, and this is, of course, a lot of concern with the parents. If they don't have enough attention at home, not enough caring at home, then they won't care from their boyfriend or from their girlfriend. They say they spend a lot of time with their boyfriend and girlfriend. And to get attention from their boyfriend, they will do anything for them. Um, I mean sexually. They will give the boy anything they ask, provide, provided they take care of them, provided they pay attention to them. And that, of course, have a, have a problem. They don't have a negative uh, problem in their life. Children actually want very little from their parents. They expect very little from their parents, but they need a lot. They need the parent to protect them. They need the parents to nurture them. They need the parent to accept them for what they are. They need the parent to nurture them in four different areas. In physically, they, they want the parent to take care of their physical need, food, you know, uh, clothing, but they need also the parent to pay attention to the hygiene. Often parents uh, provide enough food and enough uh, education for them, they, but they don't pay attention to their hygiene, to their physical needs. So it is very important for parents uh, every night or every morning to ask them, you know, have you brushed your teeth? 
uh, before they go to sleep, have you brushed your teeth? And they, we have to do this continually until they, it become a habit. Uh, the, other, the second thing is, of course, education. Parents must make sure they give the children a good education, a good school. And, but also they need emotional uh, caring. In other words, parents must play with the children, uh, have good relationship with the children. And lastly is spiritual need. Parents must make sure that uh, they always talk to the children continually, making sure they know what is right, what is wrong. Like I said before, children expect very little from their parents. They, they expect love. Above everything else, they expect love. And children instinctively know what love is. Although sometimes parents don't understand this, children know that love is work. So children judge how much their parents love them by how much work they do for the children. Children expect them to play with them. Not sometimes, but all the time. Uh, to, to have good relationship with them. I always uh, tell parents, you know, uh, in my training, how to become super mom, super dad, I tell parents that the last thing they do at night is to kiss them good night. When children have this good night kiss from their parents, you know, it affirms who they are. So they, uh, they can sleep peacefully at night. They can realize they are, they are recognized, they are valued by their parents. But again, like I said, uh, you cannot do it sometime. You have to do it all the time. And the best way to do this is to give them spiritual uh, education is by having breakfast with them in the morning and dinner with them at night. If you do that, you can have breakfast with them, say about half an hour to one hour in the morning and one hour dinner at night. You can talk to them properly. You can, uh, you can talk about values, talk about their problem, talk about their pain talk about their joy and when they do this also cook for them you know although sometimes it may be cheaper maybe sometimes it's easier to uh, eat outside it's better if you ask them what do you want to eat today and you cook it for them when they see that when they see you care about what they want and, and you cook it for them it affirm them that you love them the most important gift we can give to our children is loving attention thank you very much